Lasers, microwaves, and sound beams. They don't sound like weapons, but the Air Force Research Laboratory has awarded the largest contract ever to a company to build a virtual war games to test such weapons. News 13's Marilyn Upchurch tells us more. Blue Halo won an $80 million contract to construct a virtual simulation for the Air Force Research Laboratory. This will create simulated war games for the Department of Defense. We actually take these out and we play them in war games to see how they would work inside of a notional combat. Uh, so we involve war fighters and then we bring these concepts to them and they determine how they would use them in, again, that notional combat situation. The concept allows warfighters to sit in a simulated cockpit with virtual goggles on and fly an F-15. And this will allow them to get familiarity with these concepts as well as uh, find out how they would be utilizing them, uh, help develop their concepts of operations, concepts of employment, and then uh, find out where we are still missing uh, capabilities. All the weapons in the simulation will be directed energy weapons. Those are devices that use sound beams to microwaves. They say this will provide AFRL with important tools needed to serve warfighters. It will also allow tests to bring these weapons into the real world. There's a lot of stuff that we still need to continue to do, but um, just, you know, excited that this contract was finally awarded and we're ready to just press forward with our services and uh, make, make it good for our warfighters. Blue Halo, which has an office in Albuquerque, will have a decade to create this virtual world. Marilyn Upchurch, KRQE News 13. It can be very expensive to test and perfect the direct energy weapons. The virtual range will help lower those costs before real world tests.